viewers. How are we doing? I think my voice is going out. Looks like it. Today we're going to be having a look at the Bernina New Scenario Pack, which is called, sorry, Rivet Games Bernina Line Scenario Pack 01. Hope we're all going well. I've seen a couple of people pop in and say hi and bye and hi and bye to you. Thanks for dropping by. So let's get started in this. The Bernina Line's been out for a little while and it already had some quite interesting scenarios with it. But with this scenario pack, you get a whole bunch of new ones. You get Alpine Storm. I should click through them, shouldn't I? And that's uh, driving a oh, express service through a winter storm southbound in Toronto. I'll give you a Bruzio. That's the first service of the day from Toronto to Pozciavo. Hope I'm not mutilating those words too much. We have an Odyssey in Postiavo Valley. And we have an enhanced version. Now I should talk about the, the difference between the normal versions and the enhanced versions, I guess. The if you've got the other content, so there is, let me just find it. So organized. There is RHB Enhancement Pack 02 and RHB Enhancement Pack 03. If you've got those and the Bonita route, then uh, your home suite, you can run the enhanced ones. If you've only got the Bonita route itself, then the non-enhanced ones are for you. It's the same scenario. These ones just have uh, different content in them that come from the other packs. Then we have a Panoramic Rescue. This one's really hard because it's in the dark. And it's so dark, you um, come across your rescue train as a little bit of a surprise. But that's okay. And then we have Pondering Sondrio. Now, all of these are on the RHB ABE812 Allegra BEX, which is basically a tram. And then we have the Alpine Storm Enhanced, and these are an RHB ABE443, a little locomotive that also carries passengers. So, again, very tram-like. And then there's the Enhanced version. I'll give you a Bruzio. So... Let's get started, shall we? I'll jump into, I'll give you a Bruzio Enhanced, and I will talk a little bit about the route as well, because probably not everybody's actually got this route, and they're interested in it, so we'll um, go through a bit of that as well. I think I covered all the scenarios. Cool. Looks like that's good. Looks like everything's going out to air, and looks like the sound's working. Hopefully it is. Let me know if it's not in the chat, please. And good morning, driver. Your task today is to take an early morning RHB Reggio service, number 4605 from Posichavo, to Toronto in Italy. Open the doors and allow passengers to board for a 741 departure. Very good. Let's open them up, and then let's go outside and have a bit of a look around. So I am running RW Enhance, which makes the game look just a little bit different, and it brings in some additional shaders, and it also brings in uh, some nicer anti-aliasing, so the, the lines and the fences and things tend to be a bit nicer than they usually are. And we've got ourselves a little locomotive. I haven't actually driven this locomotive, so this could be quite exciting. The ABE44. Maybe I should go around the other side so you can see it properly. There's an idea. And it looks like we've got two of those. One, two. And the second one's in just the red colours. And we've got really similar rail cars to the ones that are on the Arosa Lini in TSW2. They look almost the same. I kind of hope they sound better. Hmm, building. Okay. Let's jump back in our cab and figure out how to set this one up. Because, like I said, I've never done it before. Uh, what do we need to turn on? We need to turn on some headlights, I guess. Looks like the reverse is taking care of itself. Okay. Oops, things are just happening by themselves here. It's not good. I want, to, I want you in zero. Don't move or I'll have to restart the scenario. All right, good. That was lucky. What else can we turn on in here? What else is active? Passengers are now boarded. Awesome. I still want to play. Some of these switches do things, but they're not labelled. We got headlights on? We do. Good. 
That'll do. Let's just make it happen then. I think the reverse is okay. Hopefully that releases the brakes. And off we go. Now, I don't know if this one's got any kind of cruise control. I don't see any kind of cruise control on here. Nothing labelled the way cruise control normally is. Which will be a tad tedious because it might be 30 here. But just as we come down this hill, we go down to 15. Hello, Chicago. Welcome. Good morning. Or good evening where you are, I guess. So we are currently in, wrong end. Currently in an RHB 4.4. Very similar to the ones on a Rosalini in TSW2. Ah, well there's a trick for young players. It's only using the first half of the rail driver throttle. It's not using the whole thing. So their normally idle position is the brake. That's okay. I'm not showing rail driver today. I can if you want me to. Trying to get a bit of power on now. As we come into the 15 zone. It looks like it might have some kind of cruise control actually because I see a little red mark there. But the, no, the cruise control buttons don't do anything. So perhaps not. Anyway, as we uh, we'll get a little bit more power. Just a tiny bit. Oh, I see what the red mark is. It's setting... Ah, it's one of those wheels. So setting the mark actually sets your speed. So I'm setting in 1.5. So I'm doing 15 kilometers now. That makes sense. I guess that's kind of how the one on a Rosa is supposed to work, but doesn't always. Cool. That's a good thing. As we tool through this rather ponderous 15 kilometer an hour section through the little village here, which is, it's an amazing world. It's massive. It's pretty cool. It's also um, very, very Bavarian, Italian, Swiss style architectures where you've got all these really nice colorful buildings which are quite cool. And I believe it currently at this end of the route we are in fact in Italy. Even though we're running a Swiss railway. Go figure. But the uh, description of this route is that we explore the challenging alpine valleys of Switzerland with Rivet Games' tremendous Berliner line, Positiavo to Tirano. Uh, in 1904, this route opened to traffic, stretching to St. Moritz. And it basically connected up the rest of the railways of eastern Switzerland to the world. I guess that's cool. It'd be open for about a year before it, and discussions took place to extend it. And a new line that heads due south through the Benina Valley, which is this one, climbing to 2.25 thousand metres, that's 7,000 feet, before beginning the descent towards the Swiss-Italian border. So we are, we're climbing quite an impressive gradient now. It's 30%. At times, this actually goes up a lot more than that. So we'll see that. And we're traveling through the, the actual town at the moment. We're doing some street running. There's a bit of this here and there on the route where you run out in the street. Always kind of interesting. There's something about street running that's just kind of cool. Don't know if we can do anything with the radio. Nope. And I thought about putting on some Swiss radio. So here's a speed limit sign up here. So we'll be changing soon. Um, I thought about putting on some Swiss train radio. And then I thought, hmm, no. It might be in English. So as soon as the back of our train passes that marker, we'll be allowed up to 25. We've got some cars passing us now. As we start our climb out of the valley. I was trying to figure out what the gradient display actually is in this route. There we go. We can go up to 25 now. Oops, not 27. 25. Ooh, it's finicky. Might have to adjust with keyboard, I suspect. Hmm. 
did we end up that end on the two key? Stranger things have happened, I suppose. Let's just try and whoops, be a little more apt about it and let's come up here and watch it come around the corner. Quite a cool little train, so we come into our own right of way here. G'day, Crazy Dash. How are you? And Chicago's been at the train show for an hour and a half. Very cool. How's it going? Enjoying what you're seeing? Many new models to look at? It seems rather loud for me, so I'll turn it down a bit for me. If it's too loud or not loud enough for you, give me a yell. The curves on this are quite amazing. Now, I don't think this is a percentage gradient because I really don't think we're going up a 70% grade, although it is very steep. Maybe what it's meant to be is maybe a 1 in 7. That would make sense. Crazy Dash is doing good. He's a little bit tired. Went to the prom last night. Ah, that's a uniquely American experience. Our kids do a um, do a formal sort of thing in uh, usually in years eleven and twelve, which in America I think is senior high. Our high schools are, are joined together from year seven all the way through to year twelve was in one school. Sometimes they're divided into a middle school and a, a top school, but in the same place. I think it's steeper than a Rosa, Crazy Dash. I think it's quite a bit steeper. If we go outside and we have a look at this. And just the steepness that that's moving away from the river. And the river itself is, um, well, it's wrong to say it's climbing because it's coming down the hill. But that steepness is pretty extreme. So I reckon it's actually steeper than a Rosa. the alerter. You can't disable the alerter. Uh, we are stopping at Camp Pocologno. Maybe Camp Pocologno? Hmm. Something like that. I suspect my um, Italian names are probably just as poorly pronounced as my German and Swiss names. So you wouldn't even think you were coming up into a station, would you? But we are. Yeah, please do look it up, Crazy Dash. I was just trying to see if I've got in any of my notes here, whether it was... Um, it doesn't actually really say. But yeah, it feels steep. Little Loco's working hard. Here's our station that we're coming into now. Oops, that's a little violent rail driver. It's very sensitive on the rail driver. And that's because they're only using half the throttle range. I would prefer they use the whole throttle range, then it would be a bit better. I'll certainly offer that feedback to Rivet. But the route's been out for a while, so I can't see them changing it. It's actually interesting that this, this route went um, quite well, 7%. Okay, thanks, Crazy Dash. This, yeah, so one in seven. This route went quite well when it was released. Yet a Rosa that's quite similar, eh, didn't fare as well. All right, train, let's have some breaks. Very good. Now these little trains, um, this one is a loco hauled one. I'll drive one of the tram ones after we finish this one. 
and they even haul freight on the back of these little trams. It's quite cool. So have a look, bit of a look around Campo Campocologno while we have a look. It's this cool little village in this river valley. Tiny little place. The major town down the hill there. And we're heading up here. I'm climbing quite a long way. Looks like we're almost due to go. I'm going to do a little bit more street running up here and then we get back into our own right away again. There's a, a freight depot down here. Um, it quite often has oil cars in it. Passengers have now boarded the train. Please proceed at 7.52 to the next timetabled stop. That would be now. Let's give it a little bit of juice. And release the brakes. Hopefully it won't roll back. Here we go. Lovely. Uh, Crazy Dash asks, would you say this is better in terms of overall gameplay and scenery than Arosa? Um, yes, I think. Even though the scenery is TS scenery, which you know obviously isn't as good as Unreal, they've done a really nice job with it. And I think the reason the gameplay is different is because this route's more complex and more extensive. And it's got more sidings, there's more yards, there's more opportunities to do fun stuff. I think that's the only reason why it plays better. It's certainly no fast... Well, actually, no, I shouldn't say it's no faster, because in some places it actually gets up to 50, 60 kilometres an hour, but not down this end. Look, a nondescript petrol station that's probably, let me think, hmm, red and yellow, it's probably a shell... There's some nice assets that have been used here that I haven't seen in other routes. So they're quite cool. The curves are amazingly steep. And its best feature is not very far away now. So our next stop is Brusio. And we're briefly going to go to 45 kilometres an hour. As soon as it lets me. All right, up to 45. Which feels positively quick in this thing. Ah, so what else is happening on the Benina route? So it's established itself as a major tourist route for those who seek these stunning views in Alpine resorts. And it's become home to the Benina Express, BEX, which connects Chur, Davos, to St. Moritz, to the pass. So it actually connects the bottom end of a Rosalini to St. Moritz and Italy, which is kind of cool. So it might be fun one day. Oops, a bit of slow down. Yeah, well, I'm slowing down. Because yeah, I'm not on the right thing. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Yay. Yes. Sorry. I was uh, had my focus on the notes that I had. Oh, thank you for the congratulations, Crazy Dash. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. It's been quite good growth. I expect there might be... An, no, we're not stopping at this platform. I expect there might be another minor growth spurt tomorrow, because if you haven't looked at the Ralph Ann TV schedule, I've got a video about creating the most active scenario possible on Horseshoe Curve in TSW2, and that's running on the Ralph Ann TV channel, Dovetail Games channel, tomorrow. 7 p.m. British Standard Time, I think. Or is it British? No, it'd be British Daylight Time, wouldn't it? Which means I'll be getting up at, yay, 5 a.m. So I can be in the chat and be friendly. It's kind of cool. It'll be a fun morning anyway. I'll do that and then go up to work. Uh, community posts and enable about a week after you get and maintain 500 subs. So I have to wait about another six days or so for that to happen. What do you mean speeding? Oh yeah, I sped up too early. Oh well. I'm not one that really worries about points, as you guys probably know.
It's always such a weird view, isn't it? Has it got a passenger view? Oh, it does. Look at that. Better pay a little bit of attention, though. There's stacks of wood. Drop our speed back down. Because we're coming to the beast. Whee. It's like a model railway. That's, what's a good place to sit? Maybe over here. This would be a good place to sit. We can see the whole thing. Yeah, I think community posts are still officially an experiment, Crazy Dash. I don't think they've actually said that they're around forever, but they seem to like them, so it's a good thing. I did discover one new feature that turned on at 500, which I'm very happy with. It's allowed me to um, restrict comments so that if they contain an Earl or a hashtag, they go into my review queue. They don't just turn up publicly. This is like a miniature to happy pass. It's pretty cool. Some serious engineering. You just imagine now when they designed this thing and the people come here and they go, how are we going to get up that? And someone goes, well, it's just like my model railway at home, actually. Here's what I do. I make a helix. And they go, nah, really? And you go, yeah, it'll work great. Yeah, hold my beer. I'll knock it up now. Make it out of a bit of plywood. So we're almost at Bruzio. Or is it Brusio? I shall have to get onto one of my Italian mates and ask them. Must be a warm day, look. Windows open. It's got that usual serial killer guy, he's always there. Ooh. And they've got that angry, angry man. There he is. Good to see. Good to see. He's still got a good life in TS, the angry, angry man. Just coming into Bruzio now. I'll just start slowing down again. Gravity does 90% of the work here. There's one of the little trams. Hopefully it won't leave before I've got time to show it to you. I just want to get my stop sorted before I pounce out and start showing things off. There's the impatient lady who always looks at the watch that she doesn't actually have. Now interestingly I know it says it's only a go via. But if you don't stop here and open the doors, you fail a scenario. Interesting, isn't it? Let's go have a look at the little tram, which is also towing some carriages today. So they're basically a little light rail vehicle. He hasn't got a driver, so he's not going anywhere in a hurry. And they tow all sorts of stuff, so they're pretty cool. Sounds like my door's closing, so it's probably time for me to go over the other side here. Let's have a look. Oops, did my doors close? Oops, wrong side. E yes, and that lady got in too. See, it's a good thing I stopped. All right, let's get out of here. Get some juice on. Oops, too fast. It all sounds quite cool. So that's what I reckon the carriages on a Rosa should sound like, but they don't. 
We're heading up to Le Pris. Or Le Prese. Le Prese? I don't know. Hello, Chicago. Welcome back. How's the train show going? Have you found anything cool to buy? I always get in trouble when I go to train shows. I buy too much stuff. I buy stuff that I'll never ever use on my layout. Look at the lean on that. It's quite an intense corner. Now, even this, though this route's got quite a lot of detail, it doesn't suffer from the stuttering that we were experiencing on the Midland New Zealand line, which I think has a similar level of detail, but I suspect some of their assets are a little bit too big. Yeah, I'm not sure about the pronunciation either, Cat. Welcome. Hello to you on this uh, grand Monday morning. It's a lovely seven degrees in Australia right now. Seven degrees Celsius, that is. If I remember rightly, perhaps it was your birthday yesterday, Kat. So happy birthday. What did you get? Quite an amazing piece of engineering, this line. Could you imagine trying to drag some 12,000 ton US freight up this? I think he'd just tear the rails off the ground. And I've been trying to figure out whether it's narrow gauge or standard gauge. I was having a look in my notes and I don't really have anything for that. So you might watch it from about here. Is a good spot. Rail fan. Yeah, I don't think it would end terribly well either, Crazy Dash. Yeah, Saluda Grade's quite impressive. Never been there personally, but... Uh, watched quite a few videos about Saluda Grade. There's a, a really good one, which is actually the original training video for Norfolk Southern. I think at the time it was just Southern. And it, it teaches, um, or it's not really a teaching one, but it introduces the drivers to the complexities of managing the grade and how the runaway system works and what they need to do to stay in control. But they don't really teach the drivers much because the uh, road drivers never took trains down that gradient. They took them up, but they never took them down. Uh -oh. The alerter obviously doesn't sound outside the cabin. Let's get some juice back on. Are you going to reset for me? No, you're going to roll down the hill. That's boring. Let's stop. Now, let me have some power. Okay, you're growing some power. Let's release the brakes and see what happens. You know what I think it did? I think 
we probably put my reverser into neutral. All right, let's try that. Yay. Good to know the alerter sounds outside the cab. Mm. What are we doing in the map? I want to see the bridge. Oh, damn it. Missing out in bridge porn. Bit more street running coming up. Imagine poking your nose out of the driveway and getting it taken off by a train. Crunch. Don't know what that noise was. Funny little noise. And we're not stopping at this station, so we go straight through. It's Miralago. It's probably where Donald Trump hides out. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's narrow gauge or not. RHB have both. They have standard gauge and narrow gauge. So I'm really not sure. I'll have to look it up later on. Not going to try and do it now, because... Yeah, it does does accelerate like a rabbit. It just bounces out of the gate. But they're very powerful little things. It's like the one on a Rosa. They're immensely powerful locomotives. This is a nice spot over the lake here. Can we open windows? Sounds like we can open windows, but they don't do... Oh, hang on. It's a slidey one. Tricked me. Can open windows. Look at that. Let's just uh, pick up our speed. That'll do. Let's go and have a look at it over the lake and hope the alerter doesn't go off. <coughs> Let's go in a bit. There you go. That's screenshot worthy. When it goes around past the rocks, it'll be a good spot for a screenshot, I reckon. Indeed, they do need to be powerful to handle these gradients. Oh, there's no train reflection going past the rocks. It's not a good place for a screenshot at all. It's a big lake. Have to bring our speed back down again in a moment. The road's got an even steeper climb. It's all the way up there, up above us. As we meander around the outside of the lake. Looks like the thing doesn't bring your speed down. I had to brake then. So we're almost there at what I guess is La Prezi. It's amazing how much they lean on the corners. Because they're not tilting trains, that's just the track doing that. I also don't think they're tilting trains. Maybe they are. So how's everyone doing today? I may get a little bit of background noise today, by the way, because my mother-in-law is here and she doesn't understand about streaming. She just does her thing, basically. Indeed, they are a little bit weird. There aren't too many locomotives that carry passengers, that's for sure.
trying to figure out where this platform actually is. Good day, David Wright. How are you? Just after midnight in Scotland. Welcome. This looks like our platform, doesn't it? Will that be good enough? Yep, apparently. Good. Oh, it's not a bad run. It's uh, quite a clincher of a route. It's... um. That sounds wrong. Um, yeah, it's uh, quite interesting. It's a very, very steep run, but this train, little train seems to handle it really well. The cat wants to go to Scotland. Very cool. A little bit of a wait here, so let's have a look around the town. Let's go down this street. See where this goes. This one good thing about TS is you can go pretty much wherever you want. You just run out of real estate to look at eventually. I would highly prefer that um, TSW didn't have invisible walls quite so close to the rails. Because they do a beautiful job of modelling all sorts of stuff in TSW and you can't get anywhere near it. And I don't mind if stuff looks a bit flat like that does when you get away from the rails. When it's a uh, nicer detail when you're close to the rails, that's cool. We all understand that. I understand that they spend the money where they need to spend the money. Cool little garden. Looks like a little cafe or a restaurant or something. Certainly dwarfed by the mountains. It's very similar feel to the uh, New Zealand route, just running through very, very tall mountains. It sounded like one of our cats sneezing in the background then. They're strange creatures. No doubt there's a big pile of snot on a wall somewhere. So looking around this, I do see a lot of standard assets, but I see a lot of really unique ones too that I haven't seen on any other route. So I think they did quite a bit of work on um, building this one. It's cool. Let's go back down to our train. Hmm. I don't know if we can get a nice reflection shot out of that puddle somewhere. Hmm, maybe? Come down around here, maybe? No, it's not, not big enough. Sometimes you get really nice screenshots out of puddles. Almost time to go. Passengers have now boarded. You can proceed at 815 and by some miracle, I'm staying on time. Mm, so it's 30 here, isn't it? And we're on a 6% gradient here. Actually, I doubt it's 6% here. I think it's probably lower. Coming up to one of the fast sections. On our way to Postiavo. Should we play Postiavo? bit more industry. There are some scenarios that pick up and deliver freight on the route. Not in the new pack, but in what you had originally and the enhancements. No, nope, we're going straight through this one, so I can speed up. I didn't want to speed up in case that was set to divert. Oops, this is so sensitive. 
I actually kind of think this is probably one that's best driven without the rail driver, because the rail driver is more of a hindrance than a help, because of the sensitivity. And we have to slow down again straight away. Look at that. Isn't that boring? Bring our speed back down. There we go. The signs do give you a little bit of warning before the speed actually changes. There's the speed sensor there. Yeah, it would be pretty cool. If the sound on these is um, anywhere near realistic, then they're not particularly loud. Let's just come up next to one of them. Apparently we're allowed to do 50. Back down to 45. Yeah, it is kind of funny. Crazy Dash just mentioned that it's uh, ironic that the top speed is equivalent to a European train entering its station. They do come in pretty hot. I'm just using the keyboard to do the acceleration now and hopefully it won't read the rail driver. Not stopping at this one. Oops, and we're supposed to be doing 30, not 60 here. Let's bring my speed down just a tad. A bit more street running. The uh, light rail vehicles actually slow themselves down. It doesn't look like these locos do. I want to see if these gates open up. Oh, they do. Look at that. How cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like the street running too. Oh, and those ones closed up in front of us there. Just saw that. I'm allowed to go a bit faster here, I think, aren't I? But we're almost at the station. Speed up. Why not? Looks like our train's stopping at Postiavo. Because the route actually goes further than Postiavo, but uh, this train's stopping. The route is... I had it. It's quite long. I'll we'll have to open the file again. Let's start us slowing down now since we're coming into the station. Once I stop at this station, I'll open the map back up. It's a squeaky little whistle so you don't bring down an avalanche on your head. Very similar to a Rosa. So you can see the route takes off up the hill just past this station.
but we're going straight and stopping here. All right. Now, just while that's doing its thing, because this is our last stop for this particular one, so you get these cool wood freight carriages. Don't they look familiar? They look like kind of long versions of the ones on a Rosa, don't they? Almost the same. Another carriage set up here. And the route just keeps on going up here, up the route. So if we have a look at the map, we are up here at this quite significant yard. And we came from down there. And it goes on a bit further after this, so it's another little chunk. Like a nice big horseshoe curb up there, a couple of them actually. So what's this one? This is Kadera. Hmm. Well done, driver. You have successfully completed the scenario. How about that? Don't tell me. I got points in a career scenario in TS. That never happens. Oh, I ruined, absolutely ruined my zero rating. Oh, well, that's okay. Uh, what are we going to run this time? Pondering Sondrio Enhanced. Pondering Sondrio. Now, where does this one go? Well, that one's going down the hill. Then we have Panorama Rescue. We've done that one. As far as Positiava. There's not as many that go up the top of the hill. I wonder if there's any scenarios in the old stuff that lets you go up to the top of the hill. Toronto. So this one goes from Toronto to Kadera, so you can actually get up to the top. These are the original scenarios, not the new pack. But let's give... Which one did I say I was going to do? Pondering Sondero. That should be going down the hill from, from where we just arrived at to go down. Now, if this one's the same little RHB loco... No, it's the tram. Good. I'll take the tram down the hill. Your task today is the early morning RHB Regio service number 4605. Oops, I thought I was moving then. It's not me. It's okay. Open the doors and allow the passengers to board. Very good. Let's jump in here. And let's put some brakes on so we don't roll away. Let's get this into forwards. Bring this back to zero. Good. And there is some other stuff to turn on somewhere. There's headlights somewhere. These buttons work. You can change your pantographs. Uh, where are they? There they are. Headlights. It's going to fight me. So you can have whites on the front, off, red. So we want white. And that should have reds on the back too. Oh, we do. Good. So this is the little light rail vehicle. It has a passenger view as well. It's almost in there with you. Look, you've got to see the back of your own head. Actually, no, we're up the back. There's a route map on the table. That must be all the RHB maps. That's kind of cool. G'day, mate. How are you? Not quite time to go yet. I think we're all set up. This one has interesting lots of controls. You've got two different brakes. You've got an air brake and a vacuum brake. You've got a cruise control lever which is the Y and C keys to move it, or you can use your mouse or controller. And you've got the uh, the regulator. So it's uh, throttle and electric braking. Almost time to run away. I haven't actually driven this down the hill, so this could get, uh, I guess, exciting, couldn't it? How are those points set? They are set for us. It's time to meet Ghost. Gonna talk again? Ghost saying hello. <laughs> I 
Ghost is a very fluffy little thing. All right, nearly time to go. These station stops are pretty long. But it's quite a short little route, so good fun. Looks like we're in slightly darker time frame now. All right, let's give this a crack. So, brakes off, and I'll set this to... What are we allowed to do here? Well, we'll just leave it at 30. And give it a little bit of power. And let's see if it keeps itself speed, or if I have to do it. Well, it looks like it might do it. Bonus! Lots of crossings here. She is cute. Right now she's behind me destroying a feather. And just banged her head on the desk. See? Clever. Let's take this up to a bit more power and take this up to 55. If you give these ones all the power at start off, they um, slip and slide like crazy. Little teeny weeny tram. And we're going via Le Kurt. We're going to stop there though. Why not? Let's stop at Le Kurt just for the hell of it. Let's have a look. No, I guess it does sound a little bit fancy like, doesn't it? Little footpath with goats? No, it is a road. It's a very small one. It slows itself down quite effectively, in fact. We didn't stop at Likert before, so we're going to, just so we can have a little look around the town. As you do. Having learnt the hard way, you have to acknowledge that. Otherwise you stop. Hey, this yellow petrol station's got a brand on it. Oil so. Oh, and how cheap is it? It's not that cheap at the moment. Let's block the crossing like all good train drivers should. Get the doors open, even though we don't need to. Let's go out and have a look at the town. It's like the local used car yard. Fuel station. You imagine towing that on these hills? That'd be so much fun. Not. What is there up here in the street running section? Anything interesting? Another little street. Well, that's kind of cool. And we're back up at the starting point. All right. Hopefully that's closed our doors. Yeah, looks like it. We can go. There goes my time limit bonus, eh? And let's pick up some speed. What are we allowed to do? 60, apparently. Let's go. These ones aren't quite as much rabbit as the other ones. Pretty quick, but not quite as quick. Glad I didn't run this one up first because the uh, lighting's a little dull in this one. And yeah, we have to slow down to 40 now. You get a little bit of warning because the speed signs apply after the signs. Actually, 45 apparently. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So apart from wanting to know where you're supposed to stop, you could do this one without the HUD pretty easily. Because the signage is quite good. allowed to do 50 but I'm just going to sit on 45 because we almost have to drop down to uh, 40 anyway for what is probably a tight corner it's a two of us with a whole lot of cars stuck behind it I bet they're happy It's amazing how much different it looks in the different light, isn't it? In some of the scenarios, you do meet other rail vehicles at these spots. And back down to 30 again. Hello, town. After you've done 60, 30 feels like a crawl. And stopping at this one, La Prezi again. After we do this one, I'm going to run one in stormy weather, just to see how it looks. It's called Alpine Storm. I don't know if it's got snow or if it's just uh, lots of rain, so we'll see. Look at all those cars dutifully waiting for us. Yeah, it is strange having 33. It'll be some engineering thing, though. Some, there's always a reason for things like that. Now, I have to know what those little buildings over there are for. We're going to go look. This cruise control makes this rather straightforward to drive all right some brakes doors open and let's go have a look at these things hello how we doing g'day how are you morning hello Ooh, he's an angry man just looks angry doesn't he anyway i wanted to come over here I was kind of curious. Are they toilets? They look kind of like toilets, don't they? I wonder. Passengers have now boarded the train. Oops, I'm running late. That's because I looked around the looked around the route. You know, why else are we here? All right then. How did I get into emergency? Not quite sure how I did that, but anyway, all good. Up to 30 we go. Actually, I'm going to put my reverser back into forwards because I somehow went into emergency because I'm clever like that. And off we go. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. I was beginning to wonder where it was. Back past this nice look. Funny how the game tries to track the train, but the train's not visible half the time. So it's not a massively long route, but it's not a really short route either, because it um, took us... Oh, it's starting to rain. Light was on. It, it took us a good 40 minutes to get up the hill. Who wants to see proper dynamic weather in Train Sim World 2, like we have in TS? I like being able to change it. I like having sparks on the overhead too. What's a route from TS I'd like to see in TSW? Well, there's an interesting question. There's quite a few good ones in TS. I like Riviera in the 50s. I think that could be interesting. There's potential that um, the new steam route could live up to the expectations of that. I think if it's similar to that one, I'd be pretty happy. There's a lot of really long routes in Train Simulator that... Uh, we're only just starting to see longer routes now in TSW, so work their way through it. Certainly been a bit of a journey to get TSW up and running. It's nice light reflecting on the water there. Uh-oh, tree. Ow. Speeding? What? Oh, yes, I am. I'm naughty. He's a naughty boy. And he's not the messiah. He's just a very naughty boy. Now, I know it doesn't want me to stop here, but I'm gonna. Why not? There's a guy waiting. I don't want to disappoint him. I'm gonna take him down the hill. Because I'm nice. I didn't see doors open, but he got in. Just another nice little town just by the river here. By the lake, sorry. River. Twit. <whistles> Breaks off and off we go. Moved door, train door while door open. No, I didn't. Oh, I looked, it was closed. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Got to admit, I don't like that kind of scenario. Ah, oh, let's go and do this stormy one then. Where is it? Which one was I doing? Alpine Storm. Advanced. 
Maybe there isn't an enhanced one. Yes, there is. Oh, it's in a 4-4. Four, four. Good O. Yeah, I'm just still thinking about which um, other routes. Today you're taking a Bonina Express service the remainder of the way to Toronto. Beware of severe weather conditions for the duration of your journey. Allow St. Moritz Reggio to pass, then proceed. All right, let's get things set up. Let's get our bro. I don't know if I don't want the independent on, but I want this break on. No, don't move, don't move. Bad train. Stop doing what I tell you to do. Just sit there. Now, wipers. Vent switch, compressor switch, main switch, pantograph. Something's got to be a wiper. Somewhere. What's that one? Headlights. Well, we want headlights. Definitely want headlights. Uh, that's headlights. That's more headlights. Vacuum pump. Magnetic brake. Ah, there they are. Yay. Oh, we probably want the other one too, don't we? They're controlled separately. That's funny. I think we can go. Signal looks green. Let's see what happens. So where are we on the map at the moment? Oh, we're there. Okay. Looks different, the snow. And judging by the fact we're already running away, I'm going to have to use... The other kind of braking. Here we go. It's too much. This could be dangerous while I'm learning how to go downhill, but we're going to come over here because it looks nice. Even that doesn't hold our speed properly. Oh, we've got observation coaches on. Isn't that pretty? Haven't seen them before. I'm not quite speeding yet, so let's see what the passenger view is like with these. Oh, kind of cool. With maximum electric braking, I am somehow managing to hold my speed, which is impressive. Can hear something beeping. What's beeping? Why is it beeping? Something's beeping. I don't know what's beeping. I acknowledge whatever it was. Don't I have headlights on? Or they're just dull. Uh, Crazy Dash asks something. He wonders is why a whistle is any better than a horn to prevent avalanches. I suppose if you had a little horn, it'd be okay. But the idea is to be quiet in avalanche areas if you have really strong vibrations and reverberations. I don't think we are in that spot. I think we're at the top of the hill. We are. We're in the bit of the route that we hadn't gone to yet. I suppose it's not so much a horseshoe because, you know, there's a mountain in the way, but there's the track there. Cool. It'd be quite nice sitting in these warm air-conditioned carriages or watching the uh, the coldness outside, wouldn't it? We've got maximum electric braking. We're barely holding it. This part of the route really feels like uh, a Rosalini, doesn't it? Very similar. Lots of wheel squeal that we didn't get with the other carriages. Oh look, it uses them. 
Oops, whoops, whoop, yeah. That's one of the the limited edition birthday pack ones. It came out a while ago. Interesting train watching spot over here. Let's come out of the trees. Ah, I could see it twice. Cool if we had a long train. Big mountains. Imagine the reaction at a rail crossing if you heard a big American freight coming and all you heard was... <laughs> What's that squeaky thing? There it is. For just a little bit longer we would have seen its bum end going into the tunnel as the front came out. Just a tiny bit longer it needed to be. Apparently I'm going too fast, but I don't care. And I'm going to get the speed down just in time to speed up again. Look at that. Watch her with the drone, shall we? All these tourists that don't even look out the window. What's going on? Ooh, we're allowed to go faster. Let it pick up some speed and then back to max. One point seven kilometers to Postiavo. You know, just listening to the sound from these carriages gives me a clue of what might be wrong wrong with the Arosa ones. Because this is the same sound as the Arosa carriages. 
but it, it's a lower frequency. So the clanks aren't happening as much. So it sounds like a train instead of a shopping cart. I might actually mention that to Jasper and see what he thinks. And chat to him occasionally. Hello, Michael. How are you? Welcome back. Oops, I just missed a grade crossing. We're just coming down the hill, and I'm going too fast. Break lots. Break lots. Break lots more. Break more. Break more. Yep, better put on some real brakes. We're going to be in trouble in a minute. Doing our first downhill run, learning how to control this little beastie. So we're driving an RHB44. It's a bit like the one on a rosary, except it sounds good. I didn't say that. It's a bit like the run on a rosary, but it's much more fun to drive. I didn't say that either. I was never here. No one heard a thing. This isn't on the internet. You're dreaming. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Welcome to the Twilight Zone. Uh, you, it's not hard to go down this route. You have to juggle the different braking systems. You have got three on this train, four on the other one. Now they're on the level, I need to get rid of most of my braking. Go on, off. That's all we want. So I can stop in a moment and let our passengers off. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now arrived at Ostiabo. Enjoy the rain. I'm sure it'll be fun. No one's getting out. I wouldn't either. I'll go, nah, it's warm in here. I'm going down the bottom of the hill. There's quite a complex little yard here. That's what we're waiting. There's these bits of it over here. There's some more over here. I've seen these doors open. So, not at the moment, but I've certainly seen them. Uh, proceed at 12.13. We're on time. How'd that happen? Breaks off. Let's roll. I don't want to go to maximum braking yet. I want to accelerate. I just don't want to accelerate very much. Yep, we're in the 55 zone now. Let's pick up some speed. Let's use the juice. Oops. Damn you, rail driver. It seems to be holding its own speed, even though we're going downhill again. So I guess it depends on how steep it is, whether it can hold its own speed or not, without using the other braking systems. Squeaky little monkey. Uh, 
Oh, now we're starting to pick up speed. Oop, not max makes. Lots of brakes, but not max brakes. Come down a little bit more. Now hold it there. This bit's a bit challenging to get right. Looks all right in the snow, doesn't it? Tight corner. Oh, we're going to pass one. Passing one of the tram versions, towing some carriages. I have to say it's a bit hard to control with the rail driver. It's very sensitive. They've only used half the um, throttle arc. We have to stop in a moment. La Brezzi. Can do 30, but given I have to stop, I'll just stay on this speed, I think. Oh, 
little cafe on the right there in the bottom of the hotel. That's something you'd like to see on a cold, snowy day like this. Nice hot coffee. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now arriving at La Prezi. If you are leaving us here, please gather your belongings and your children. Any left behind will be sold. Or maybe put in the dump master over there. Like all good railways, we're going to block the driveway. It's an interesting hotel, that one. I assume it's a hotel. Big round room in the back. Looks sort of hotel-ish. It is, look at that. It's the Hotel Le Prezi. What a guess. Four stars, apparently. Proclaimed proudly. Passengers have now boarded the train. Please proceed at 12.21. The landscape, isn't it? So after this run, we're going to have a little bit of time left. We'll have to pick something from the catalogue to uh, to run after this. You guys have got a bit of an idea of what routes I've got in TS. Well, actually, no, you don't know what I've got loaded, though. I've got more than I've got loaded. I try to keep the route list down to um, what I'm roughly playing. Whoops. Try to keep the route list down to what I'm roughly playing because um, it keeps TS quick. If you have too many routes loaded in, it takes too long to start up. Coming back into a 45 kilometre an hour zone again. In just a moment. And we're not stopping at Miralago. Crazy Dash has the TS2019 routes. Miami, West Palm Beach, Pacific Surfliner, NEC, Baltimore, North Jersey, Coastline, Morristown and the Racetrack. The Surfliner one's supposed to be nice. I keep thinking I want to get that in a sale, but I never remember to actually do it. Then someone mentions it after a sale and I go, oh yeah, I was going to buy that.
Crazy Dash says, sadly, the Surfliner route is really outdated to what it is today, undergone a ton of improvements. Most would improve the overall quality of the routes, lots of double tracking and bridge replacements. So I guess you'd like to see an update. Sounds like they've done a lot of work on that route to speed it up. I guess it's kind of become a bit of a commuter route, hasn't it? Sort of isn't what it was originally designed for. I'm sure there's a train in the scene somewhere. The game thinks there is. There it is. I don't think they'd do any routes with a COVID timetable, Crazy Dash. I think they would just avoid that. They avoided the call to put masks in the game. Which I'm glad they did. I mean, we get enough of that crap in the real world. We don't need more of it in our uh, fantasy gameplay, do we? Am I speeding again? I'm naughty. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's getting really steep. That would be why I'm speeding again. I never really understood why some of our community members were calling for masks to come into the game. I really didn't understand that. It's not as though our little cartoon characters can actually catch anything. I think one of the tram simulator games brought them in. I vaguely remember playing that game going, it's not very good. I think I figured out the other difference between this and Arosa. This one's got more infrastructure along the rails, so you're sharing the space with roads and a river. So scenically, it's probably a little bit more interesting. Even though the route itself is very similar. Very tight. Lots of slow patches. Lots of patches on maximum braking just to keep the train under control. So Trampsim brought in tits, Michael Newbury. Oh yeah, I get what you're saying, Crazy Dash. I didn't didn't say you were saying one of the ones that were needing to have masks, but there certainly were a few people that wanted it. But yeah, I agree. Whenever they have roots brought into the game, it should be brought in in a way that's busy. I don't even mind that they make timetables up. It's like Clinchfield is relatively busy for a freight route and they made that timetable up completely. I think that's good because it means you've got lots of options for gameplay and while yes it's a train simulator and we like it to be relatively accurate, um, but I actually think the gameplay side of it's really important. Because if you brought in a route that sees one train a day, 
and you put one train a day on it. I guess Cane Creek's like that. Cane Creek was, um, it's one train a week on that line. And if you brought out a game that had one train a week, who'd buy it? I know, Michael, I was just making fun of you. I was just being mean, mate. But it was you that typed tit. Just say it. <laughs> you amused my inner 14 year old. About to come through Bruzio. Must be an interesting experience to drive one of these trains, given that you, um, I might pop it in a cab in case there's signals. Um, you're kind of permanently on the verge of just about to run away. Because on the steep part back there, we're on maximum braking. And it was only just holding the speed. And Crazy Dash says he thinks Amtrak is trying to raise the speed limits to 110 mile an hour in the section between LA and San Diego in spots. That would be good. So here's a question for the uh, American passenger train fans. I know we've got at least one in the chat, maybe two. What would be better in TSW2? The new... I think they're the ALC six, uh, ALC forty two. I think they are. The chargers. Oh, we're back here again. Cool. With a nice long train, it'll look really nice this time. Um. Actually, you know what? Let's go and look on the other side of it because we've watched it from this side. Ooh, get out of the hill! How did I get in the hill? Oh, I'm stuck. Where am I? Where have I gone? Turn around. Go on, turn around. All right, there we go. That was lucky. I only just sorted that out. It's not a bad screenshot, actually. Perfectly accidentally, but that's okay. But what would be better, the um, P42 or the new one from an Amtrak perspective? Which I think's the ALC... ALC42? Something like that. The Chargers, anyway, the new ones. I think I'd kind of like to have the charger in the game. More than I'd like to have the other one. Ah, oh, the ALC's in service. I have seen videos of it pulling trains. I've seen quite a few, actually. Might not be on service on the Surfliner. Yep. Let the speed get away. Just trying to bring it back down again. There we go. So you think the SC44 would be better? If we could do, um, yeah, I know it'd be nice to have both, Michael, but commercial realities, 
Note, I'm not saying they're making one. I'm just kind of curious. I don't want to start any false rumours or anything silly like that. I think the um, ALC42 would be the cheaper one to produce because physically... It's very similar to the ACS-64 that's on the Boston route. It just doesn't have, doesn't have the pantographs and it's a little bit taller. So you could probably get away with reusing a lot of the model. Don't know how the community would react to that. but To me, the trains don't have to be perfectly spot on. I want them to look right. Look like they belong in there. And I want them to... Uh, feel like they drive reasonably things don't have to be super accurate it's nice when they are but they don't have to be sorry little station we never seem to stop at you and if dt Crazy says that if DTG ever gets a Mark license, M-A-R-C, they could most definitely add it onto the DC Baltimore route because you could go 125 mile an hour in it, which would be fun. It would be good to have some um, faster stuff on US routes, that's for sure. Did I speed up too early? I did. Oh well. Bye-bye points. Yeah, I know they don't bring much between TS and TSW when they bring things over. They do have to redo the whole thing, but they can use, reuse textures and things like that sometimes if the stock was really recent then it's probably got good high-res textures that got de-resolutioned for TS, but they were built as high-res. Hi, town. We're back. Campocologano. Cam Campo Cologno? Campo Cologne? I don't know. Something. Uh, Crazy Dash also said Mark has an awesome locomotive fleet. They have the SC44, the MP36, the GP40s, and the HHP8s. So they've actually got some of those. And they just need rebadging and localization, I guess. I'm just letting it slow down because we're stopping in a moment anyway. Although I'll have to get off that a bit or we're going to stop way too early. Ladies and gentlemen, now approaching Campo Cologno. Get your stuff together if you're leaving us here. It's kind of cold outside. Good luck with that. Ladies suffering for fashion back there. stop uh, 
Oh, I didn't even notice there's a big church up there on the top of the hill. Or is it a town hall, maybe? No, I guess it's a church. Looks sort of churchish, doesn't it? And Crazy Dash also says they have three different types of rolling stock, single level and two are multi-levels. It would be good to have some multi-level passenger in the game. It would be um, versatile. And there's quite a few routes that um, at least one Amtrak Loco and some multi-levels would look good on. Away we go. Maybe. Why aren't we going anywhere, train? What's happened? Have you gotten scared and lonely again? Yep, you somehow got out of forwards again. And away we go. It's like a roller coaster, isn't it? It's the same feeling. Oh, Max was a bit much. DTG did say on stream they're going to bring the MP36 and some of its coaches onto the Canada route, which is name escapes me. I don't know if they'll be branded as Go Via or if they'll retain their um, Caltrain branding, which would be kind of funny. What's the name of the Canada route, Michael, if you're still here? I can't remember it. I've got it, but I don't drive it very often because it's, um, well, let's just say it's not that exciting. And a passenger route might just dark it up a bit to make it more fun. Oakville, that's the one. Oakville subdivision. Part of Canadian National, I guess. Oh, did they actually say it was going to be Caltrain branded? Oh, well. Well, actually, you know, that's not bad. That's actually okay. Because if you contemplate that, if they put the train on the route, then the community, using Creators Club, can brand it any way they want. As long as they stay within the uh, realms of believability... Almost at the bottom of the hill again, coming into Toronto, not far away. truck's going, oh, I got in front of him. I reckon that car hit us.
It's be a bit nerve-wracking coming down here on icy rails. Especially if you were the first one of the day. You're going, if a car pulls out in front of me, they're toast. No, that's a uh, Google Assistant. My wife who went, oh, good, you finished. Because my um, streaming lights are green. Google won't let me change them to red for no readily apparent reason right now. Oops, go a little quick. There we go. See if we can maintain that. It looks like it's going to hold now. Suffer, truck. You didn't get through. You have pushed past me at the top of the hill, but I get the last laugh. Crazy Dash says Go uses the MP40 and the MP54, which are newer versions of the MP36. The interior is also different. Go uses a newer cab car with more aerodynamic front to it. Yeah, the old cab cars are just a touch ugly. I have to admit that for sure. Just a little bit. Since I managed to crash a scenario, we're going to finish this one just a touch early. Do you want me to do the oil shunting one? It's another uphill one. So we've got this boring slow bit to get through, but at least we can shunt a couple of oil cars. Just make it a bit different. <laughs> you like the old cab cars but hate the new ones. So I guess it's what you've grown up with, isn't it? We don't do any push-pull runs here. Our local loco hauled trains, which are not that common anymore on the um, the country diesels. The really long ones are hauled by from the front and never propelled, and they just change the loco, change ends at the other end of the line. And all of the shorter runs these days, they're all DMUs. And our latest um, DMU fleet, they're actually made here, but they are basically flirts and kisses. So it's the same ones that you'd find in the game, so you could quite happily run them on an Australian route with different branding on them. Ah, Chicago, you're watching from your computer. I guess you got home then. How was the train show? Which platform? Looks like I'm going left. And Crazy Desh says, yes, he's local to Metrolink. Back when they used the old cab cars back in 2010, they got replaced by cars with Hyundai Rotem. I actually like how they look, but the horn is terrible. Chicago says the HSP46 also has... Oh, I've stopped. I'm going backwards, in fact. The HSP46 also has the Prime Mover ES44ACs have. Oh, the same engine, I mean, yeah. Or same motor, depending on which vernacular you come from. Here's one of their locos with freight sitting right there. If this was TSW2, I could walk over and steal it, but can't do that in this game. Almost there. I'll try not to run into the buffers. Ladies looking in the way no trains are going to come from. A 
That'll do. It's not believing the T key. I'll move it forward a little bit more. Sometimes that happens in TS, it gets a little bit confused. And if you move a little bit and try again, it works. Maybe not this time. Let's go right down to the end of the platform and see what happens. Let's try that. No, it's the back of my train out in the... No, the back of the train's in the platform, so it should be happy. Yeah. Try a bit more. Yes, it is snowing. Yeah, you're absolutely right. There we go. Finally got it. Finally got to the right place. Well, there you go. It's quite an interesting yard set up over there. You don't get too much happening in that one, though. I'm trying to remember which one was the little oil shoveling scenario. Shunting scenario, I should say, not shoveling. I don't know where that came from. Strange head. Well done, driver. You have successfully completed the scenario. I like why it says timeliness penalty. Oh, look at that. Zero points. Perfect. Uh, okay, let's pop back into Korea and I'll just. There it is, the oil pickup one. I'll just do the first part. And we'll, can, we'll go up the hill and we'll get the oil cars, but I won't deliver them all the way up. Chicago says he doesn't really play... Well, it's not TS-22 22 anymore, mate. You're in the past. All right, brakes, brakes, uh, forward... And you can actually let's just bring you back to 15 because we'll be 15 pretty much straight away. Let's get you back to off. Come on, off. Right. Headlights. We got white lights on the front. We do. Doesn't look like any of my doors are open. So in theory, I can go. Breaks off. And away we go. Uh, trains a new era doesn't exist anymore either. That's called Trains 2022 now. That got an update fairly recently. Not a bad one actually, they've done some core updates. It looks a bit better. So Crazy Dash is uh, mostly using TS when it has routes that aren't in TSW. I have to admit I do that too. There's um, not many routes that I play in TS that are in TSW as well. I tend to play them in TSW. And you like downloading mods. I still play with mods, but uh, like I'm running with RW Enhance here. That's a mod. Um, on TSW, I feel a bit bad about streaming with mods on because I think people don't really get that you're streaming with mods, even if you say it 10 times a minute. And then they get disappointed that they can't have the same thing. Especially the console people. I mean, they just don't have access to those kinds of things. Which is a bit sad.
You know what? Stuff the points. Away we go! don't understand why this section would be 15. I really don't. It's sealed off from the world. It's got fenced in track. Why is it 15? You understand if this was. But ironically, the street running bit's faster. Look how many points I'm losing. Wow. Me think it amazing. Oh, just catching up with the chat. Chicago saw two, seven, two SD70 ACEs today. On BNSF 8464 on an eastbound loaded with coal. The coal trains will probably go away in the not too distant future, I expect. And one train off to be interchanged to the Canadian National in Michigan. And the other one was on a westbound intermodal. One of the trains had six locos. And some more trailing. I can't go that fast through these corners or we'll um, come off the track. Let's just say I know that by experience. <laughs> Uh, Crazy Dash has some sound pack mods for FP40 and the NJT trains and would get a mod for the Acela and the ACS64 but it needs a specific DLC for it to work. Need NEC, NY, NH, New York, New Haven to update the ACS64 and an Acela DLC from another NEC route to update the sounds which is annoying. Yeah, that's life. So we're heading up to Kempo Kologno again. We're going to just quickly grab some oil cars. And I'll just show you how to shunt with these things. And then we'll uh, call it quits for today. And Chicago saw the New York Central Observation car built for the Empire State Express. And Crazy Dash doesn't like the New York New Haven because of its slow speeds compared to other parts of the NEC. Northeast Corridor, for those who don't know NEC. Where did you see the observation car, Chicago? Down through the roller coaster. This is the platform where we're going to do the shunting. So let's just come back up the front. There's our two oil cars that we're going to pick up and a couple of workers. G'day boys, come to take away your cars. And Chicago wants Metra. Of course you do. And the Chicago racetrack. And Milwaukee District North. Well, you know what to do. Jump into the forums and let them know what you want. And what I don't just pop in there and say, I want this, I want this, I want this. Create a nice detailed document of why you think it would be good, why you think it'll have really good gameplay. 
And why, more importantly, why do you think people would actually buy it? Just got to wait for our little timer to go off, and then we can we'll be heading down the other end. All right. Down the other end. And interestingly, it doesn't matter what you've done with the controls in the other end. Let's go get some cars. Got to be pretty gentle while you push them off the end. Did I get close enough to couple? Nah. Now I should be. There we go. Beautiful. Wee we go. And funnily enough, we have to stop here again. Emergency? No, not emergency. Funnily enough, we have to stop here again to um, pick up passengers. Yeah, it's part of the fun. Have I gone past the stop point? No. Why is my stop point not changing? I'm just going to stop here. I must have gone past it, I think. Let's go back a little bit and see what it does. But anyway, you've seen the shunting. I don't think I've looked at Thomas since my kids were about five. And they are significantly older than that these days. So make sure I don't run through the signal at the end of the platform because there is one there. All right, let's try and stop here and see if it lets us let these people in or not. Yes, it does. There we go. So I couldn't tell you what my favourite Thomas was. They're all pretty funny. I'll just set this guy going and then I'll end the stream for today. And that'll be it. So that's it for this week. Um, next weekend, I'm going to start with the Chorus Railway and do a little bit on that. It's a very, very short route, so that isn't going to take very long. So I will probably follow it up with a little bit of something else. I'll have to have a bit to think about what that was. Now, I know... Um, Chicago has requested the cab forward on Marias Pass, so perhaps we might do that after the chorus next week. I assume that would make you happy, Mr. Chicago. I'll have to build a scenario for that, though, because uh, 
it doesn't exist by itself obviously I think we're pretty close to the curly bit, so where are we? Yeah, we don't have far to go to the curly bit, so I'll take it up to the curly bit and then we'll uh, finish the stream up there. It'll just look nice going through the curly bit. Thomas has been around since the 1940s, when Audrey first wrote them. Very interesting fellow, interesting in quotes, the Audrey. I know you requested an Adonis Pass, so I don't have Donna Pass. Unless I don't think I do, we'll have a look in a tick. Maybe I do. Just race our way up to the curly bit. It amazes me that they tow freight with a tram, but, you know. Apparently they actually do. I did have a look on YouTube, and they really do do it. <laughs> it's not made up. So it's kind of cool. Fast, 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 naughty, naughty. <laughs> you don't like the newest one, you like the 2009 one. I actually like it when it was a model railroad, to be honest. That was cool. Before the um, animated versions existed. And just for interest's sake, I'll find you something. I think this is the one. No, that's not the one I want. Not the one I want. I'm trying to find a particular Thomas video, which is really funny. And we're almost at the uh, thing too, so I will just, oops, not go up in the air. Let's go in somewhere useful. Come on, let's come up here. Let's get a different viewpoint on this thing. Here we go. From the mountain. There's a plan. Can you even see the train from this high? No, it's outside the draw distance. There we go. We'll do it from here while I look for this. A faint suspicion. Is this it? This is it. Yeah, this is the one. Here you go. You can watch this one in your own time, and I didn't tell you about it, okay? <laughs> Thank you. 
what you what I just posted in there was actually done uh, on Australian TV because you know we're not like American TV. We say words that you guys wouldn't even think about using because Aussies are funny. But I'm not going to play it on my stream because I can do without the copyright strike. I hate to tell you this, Chicago, they're all fake. Sodor doesn't exist. Sodor is basically England. Anyway, I think we'll leave it there today. Enjoy watching Thomas and the Fat Controller and that link I posted. And just remember that was an Australian TV show. This Can't make this stuff up. So have a good week. I shall see you next week. I won't be streaming all days on the weekend this time. So I've got to work on the real railway next weekend. But I'll be streaming on my usual Sunday, which is Saturday for I think everybody in the chat today. And we shall see you later on. So have fun, folks. Bye now. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I always like to get your feedback in the form of likes and comments because they help me understand what you want. Give the channel a subscribe and click on the tinkly things so you don't miss out on any new stuff. And thanks for your ongoing support. And please, be safe out there.